Hey everybody, Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am sharing with you my Scentsy Club haul, quarterly Scentsy Club haul. I only have a Scentsy or a quarterly club as of right now. Plus I also have my like hack club um, that I currently have. So the last time I filmed this was July of this past year, 2023. And since then I have gone through and removed some things. Um, I made a little list here. So since my club in July, I ended up removing Fresh Cut Daisies, Birthday Wishes, and Happy Birthday. I removed both of those because I was getting a little bit of a stockpile of all three, excuse me, and I just didn't feel the need to keep getting them. I don't reach for, especially like birthday cake scents all that often, and if I need a birthday cake scent, I know I can find it in Vendor Wax very easily. Um, I also removed Mango Margarita from the Sensepiration collection from like a year ago. And then I also removed Moana, um, Spirit of Mountain Nui bar. I have like half a dozen of them, so I figured that would be enough. And then back to the Mango Margarita bar. I do really love that scent. Um, I have two or three in my stash, and I find that so similar to Sparkling Yellow, which is in my hack club in case it doesn't come back for spring and summer. So I figured like keep one. You know, can't have them all, so I did remove that one. And then also, while we're talking about narrowing down club, as many of you know, I am um, a twin, and my twin sister lives just like four miles away from me, and we have a lot of the same scent prefer preferences, and we went through our clubs recently and kind of compared them and looked at all of the overlap and just decided that, hey, we need to start being a little bit more smart about what we're putting in our clubs, and hopefully we can eliminate some duplicates and save us both some money in the long run. So there was 10 bars total that we had overlapping in our club that we decided that we could probably cut them in half. And like you take half, I'll take the other half. So in Megan's club, she is keeping Redberry and Spruce, The Little Mermaid, Kiss the Girl Bar, um, Olaf Warm Hugs, which is currently available. Um, probably only until the end of the month, I would guess. Southern Sweet Tea, she's keeping, and also Cranberry Muffin. So I removed all five of them from my club as well, except for Redberry and Spruce. But I probably will now after this means it's shipped. I am keeping a My Club versus her. I am keeping Apple Press, the Slytherin Bar, the Harry Potter Slytherin Bar, which is currently available, but when it does discontinue again until they bring out more products or you know what have you, then I'll put that back in my club. The Disney Season of Magic bar, which recently discontinued, was available for the Christmas season and now it's gone again. Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween Town, I have that one, and also Clementine Cupcake. We may go through this again in light of the upcoming changes to licensed bars, because a lot of those are licensed. Little Mermaid, Olaf, Slytherin, Season of Magic, Nightmare Before Christmas. We, I think we maybe need to sit down again and decide are you good without it like for long term or do we keep these in our clubs? But anyhow, they helped save us both, you know, quite a bit of money. So that is all the changes I've done to my club since last July for the most part. Um, after I go through this, I may end up cutting a couple others from my club, but we will see more to come on that. So this again is my quarterly club. Sorry for all the previous, but um, wanted to go through that with you guys. Then I did stick three bars in here that are part of Limited time offers, I'll go through those at the end. Things I didn't want the whole collections of, but I wanted to try just one bar. Okay, um, my half price item for this club, I did choose a brick in sea salt and avocado because I've been really craving like fruity green type scents. And this is exactly that. So this is beautiful. It doesn't look broken or anything at all. No. Mm, yeah, I have not had this myself in a long time. This is actually also one of Megan's favorites. I think she has this in her club in bar form. So anyway, got a brick of sea salt and avocado to get me through spring and summer, probably longer. Love that scent. All right, and then in no particular order, because here's the box. <laughs> we got on the top a bar of caramel chestnut. I am kind of chipping away at my brick of this I have. Um, this is my third individual bar of this now, plus the brick that I have. I may end up cutting that one, if not now, after at least the next cycle, so I have a few more individual bars, but we'll see. Vitamin S Soothe from the Vitamin uh, Collection. Was that all this well collection? Two years ago already? 
I believe. So nice. This is actually almost also like my third or fourth bar I have of that. I have not worn that at all, like at all recently. So I may need to do some some soul searching on that one to see if it stays or goes. Fuzzy blanket, love this one so much. It was first available in my I first put it in my club when it was available in 2020. Bring back my bar. It was recently available again this past summer's Bring Back My Bar. So it's been with me for quite some time. I just love that one. Very laundry-esque. Another old pour, of course, of Tahitian Black Orchid. Love this one for my bedroom. Um, I'm actually warming this today because I knew the Magic Club was coming. So I said I probably should use up a bar of this, you know, eventually. It still smells the same. Like, they're not going bad. But they're definitely not new pours. Still all old packaging I'm getting of that. So, I don't know. My beloved Lavender Violet. Never letting this one go. Just such a beautiful scent. I wish they would bring more of those limited time offer scents back for us to pick up or vote for for Bring Back My Bar, but we just never see it. This one I actually am going to cut for my club. I can just say that with confidence. Maraschino cookie, Sugar Cookie. I now have three of them in my stash. And while I love it, it's such a good winter bakery. It is so seasonal for me. I only reach for it like at Christmas time, so I don't need to keep getting these on a regular basis. It is great, but now I have a few where I can be fine with it. Cozy Kitchen from the recent bricks in the Hoga collection previously. Um, I didn't get a chance to warm this at all when it was available as a brick, so I stuck it in my club as a bar just to see if I need to keep getting it or at least you know, have just one more before I cut it for my club. Rum Raisin Cookie, excellent bakery. It just mm, really comes to life on warm and it's so delicious. Sand swept. Probably one of my favorite fresh scents from Scentsy, like ever. Like if I only had to pick two, this would be my spring and summer favorite fresh scent and maybe my fall and winter favorite fresh scent would be something like Polar Bear Hug. Love that one. Here's that Season of Magic bar. Was recently available and did, then went away for the, after Christmas was done. Maybe we'll see that back. So that's like something I can maybe take a gamble on because as long as they have their partnership with Disney, maybe we'll keep seeing them see them bring that bar back with new products every year, but you just never know. Sensi Heartbreak for a lot of people, Bright Side or Life. So glad I put this in my club. If this hadn't, if I hadn't and it did not come back this fall and winter time, I would have been like devastated. This is such an amazing scent. I know fall is done, but it's definitely still winter here. I may actually even reach for that yet. Um, here pretty soon in the gloomy weather. This is broken. A couple of these have been broken clamshells. Um, this is Haunted Mansion. Three thumbs up. Tried this for the first time this past fall and fell in love with it. It's just such a good bakery. Very like bread heavy, but really nice. Coconut cotton, another busted clamshell. It is what it is, I guess. Love coconut cotton. Great um, fresh scent, especially for spring and summertime, but really anytime I'm craving a nice like laundry scent in my, either my laundry room or my bathroom, that's a good one to reach for. Rum Pum Plum from this past holiday collection. I, this is so good also. I think this is popular, popular enough that we would maybe see this in a future catalog, but time will tell. Really great um, fruity bakery. A, I think they both were here actually. Scent of the months from last summer. Um, Aloha Orchid was May scent of the month, I believe. Usually like, like May or June or June and July, one or the other. So Aloha Orchid and Pacific Mist. I fell in love with both of these. Aloha Orchid is so nice. Nice fresh floral, uh, fruity floral, I should say. There's some like peach and plumeria, I think, in there. And then Pacific Mist. This is fabulous also. Oh, I haven't smelled this in a long time. This will remind me a lot of the Salted Bergamot Breeze that was available in the sun time, I don't know, sun, sun, what was it, sunshine and tan lines collection? Was it last year or the year before? Must have been two years ago. Because this reminded me a lot of that, and I did not put that bar in my club, so I'm really happy that this reminded me a lot of that. So, Pacific Mist. Really enjoy that one. All these fresh bars are making me really excited for spring and summertime. <laughs> Sweet Plum Pastry, kind of a cult favorite there. So good. Really does compare it to Rum Pum Plum, but I like, uh, it's hard to say which one I like better. I get more of a bright plum with the Rum Pum Plum. In the Sweet Plum Pastry, I get more of like a 
toasted roasty pastry. Um, so they're both good in their own way. Cozy cashmere. Also love this one for our bedroom. I do need to start working through some of those. I think that's my third one I have that I need to like get through. Um, but I don't want to remove it from my club. This is the first time I've ever gotten a holographic Halloween Town bar. That's so fun. That's awesome. I don't think I've ever gotten a holographic one before. Um, if you're new around here, the with the Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, they have a few select holographic bars they send out in random orders, and I finally got one. That's fun. I love Halloween Town. <laughs> Lemon coconut chiffon, great bakery scent. Um, I may cut this one here at some time in the future. I don't reach for it enough, but it is such a great lemon bakery scent. <laughs> More fruity goodness here, I see. Melon and apple granita. Love this one. Um, thanks to Catherine here on YouTube, I have accumulated quite a few of these, but I love this. Once spring really hits, I'll start rolling through this um, scent quite a bit. And actually, like on these nice warmer days where I have spring fever, that'd be perfect to warm here, like in my office or something. All right, cotton candy cookie, great scent. Love this one a lot. I love all of these. Sorry if I keep saying that. Obviously, they're my club and I like them. But yeah, oh, it's so good. It's hard to describe. It's like a raspberry sweet cotton candy, very like juvenile but fun and good. Um, this was a bar or a brick, excuse me, for the springtime last year. Summer berry melon. I do have a partial brick of this, but I really, really, really enjoy this. I would hope that we would see this back at some point. It would be a great catalog bar, I think. Um, but I did put it in my club just in case. We don't see it ever back, and I do really love that one. So berry melon. I am kind of kicking myself for not adding the Orchard by the Sea, but I have other fresh bars that I like, and that's what I kind of came down to. Like, what do you like more? But oh well. Cocoon Coconut, I hope we see this back in the spring and summer catalog. We'll find out here in just a couple weeks. Mmm, love this one so much. I can warm that all year round in bedroom, bathroom, office areas. Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze. This has been a catalog staple since it was a scent of the month. Hopefully we see it back. I love this one a lot. It's remnants of broken clams in the bottom of that box. It doesn't make me very happy. Vanilla Waves. Sensi Heartbreak again for people because it did not come back last spring and summer. Oh man, that's so good. That is really good. Ooh, <laughs> I'm really happy I did not take a gamble on that one and that to my club. Another Broken Clam, a Red Berry and Spruce here. So again, Megan did club this one also. So it's currently in both our clubs, but if she's gonna keep it in hers, then I'll probably remove it from mine. But this is just quintessential holiday for me. So if I was ever without that, I would be very, very sad. Uh, there's apple press I was talking about earlier. Such a great apple scent from Scentsy. It's basically just apples and I think maybe pears. And actually I think there's like a rose note in there or something too, but there's no floral. It's just pure juicy apple to me. All time fave, cucumber lime. I actually haven't warmed this in quite some time, but it's fabulous. Love that one. I can't believe that I actually got voted back. Like that just makes my heart sing. Um, from the Harvest Collection, Forever Fall. This was the only one I did club from the Harvest Collection. Such so a, a great, um, like, pure, slightly pu spiced pumpkin. Not a lot of spice, but a little bit. Um, really, really fell in love with that one. Frosted Cinnamon Roll was a September scent of the month. I do have one or two of these lingering in my stash, and I did want to club this because such a good bakery. And a great mixer. So uh, really love frosted cinnamon roll. Forever flannel, one of the holiday bricks. This is also fabulous. Great um, bedroom, bathroom type scent. Laundry room. I mean, you can warm this anywhere. It's a great, nice, kind of gentle, um, fresh scent. It's really pretty. Only a few left in here. Yeah, I have like so many of these. Almost all of them have broken clamshells on their corners. Maple rum cake. Uh, kind of along the same lines as rum raisin cookie. It just really comes to life on warm and such a good bakery. 
we find ourselves having to put all these good bakery bars in our clubs because the catalog just kind of lacks in that department sometimes, but it is what it is. It's Love from the Valentine's Day Collection. I was actually warming this the other day and oh, it's so good. I love this one. I will don't think I'll ever part from this. Um, it was this 2021 Valentine's Day Collection. It's been in my club ever since then. I'm, I love that bar. And last but not least is Clementine Cupcake. I really don't think we're going to see this back for this spring and summer catalog season. But it's so yummy. I love this one. I should reach for this here pretty soon too. Yeah, very bright. Um, like Clementine orange and there's a delicious warm kind of cupcake. That one is delicious. All right, so that's my quarterly club for now. Um, like I said, I do have a hack club as well with spring and summer bars in it from last season that I will, I do intend on going through that and editing it in February once we know what's coming back for spring and summertime in March. So I will try to film that for you guys um, to like edit what's not coming back from spring and summer and then put in fall and winter stuff. All right, and then three bars very quickly that I ordered or stuck in here because I didn't want the full collection of two from the Mardi Gras and one from the Valentine's Day collection. I did not pre-order or order the, all those because I'm trying to be really limited on what I bring in as I just went through my whole club. You can see like I had no shortage of wax, of course. So I just want to be picky about collections I'm bringing in. I, if I know that I probably won't like or really enjoy two or three of them out of the five, say, then I'm not going to order the whole thing. So the two I picked up from Mardi Gras with Street Parade and the Confetti Showers. Uh, the Confetti Showers is Sparkling Citrus, Black Currant, and a Hint of Peach. Oh, I get the peach right away. Um, and a little bit of like effervescent citrus. The bottom smells a little odd to me. But I like the top. These are a little cold too. It's... I think once you warm this, it'll kind of come to life and be more well-rounded. So I look forward to warming that one. And then the other one I got from Mardi Gras was Street Parade. This is Blood Orange, Juicy Plum, and Golden Pineapple. So I've just basically just picked up the two fruity bars. <laughs> um, this reminds me of something. Reminds me of Huckleberry Clementine. Is that what that bar was? That's what it reminds me of off the bat. It's okay. I don't love... I think I'm not loving the pineapple in here, actually. Um, we'll see how that one does. Just okay. And then from the Valentine's Day collection, the one I picked up was Simply the Zest. This is sandalwood, less greens, and bright tropical fruit. Light. Like a, it's very light. I don't really even get much on the top. Maybe, it's hard to even say. Maybe I got some fruitiness. Let's see if I can get it out of here. Okay, get maybe some sandalwood on the bottom, but it is very light. Might just have to warm it up a little bit. See what I get. Very light. This will definitely be like a bedroom or office type melt for me because of how light it is, but we'll see. Maybe I'll let it even sit for a couple weeks and see if it kind of comes to more, more to life after it's sat for a little bit. So that is it. Um, can't believe we're nearing the end of January already. Can't wait to see the spring and summer catalog. Um, thanks so much for watching and I hope you all take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.